you need to hear this if you're a fan of prehistoric giants. Welcome back. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, Ask AI Discoveries. Today we journey back in time to an era long after the dinosaurs had vanished. The Pleistocene Epoch, commonly referred to as the Ice Age, spanned from 2.6 million to 11,700 years ago. This period saw multiple glaciations and the reign of the Smilodon, or saber-toothed tiger. With its iconic fangs and immense strength, this apex predator ruled the frozen landscapes of North and South America. Let's explore the anatomy, behavior, and untold mysteries of this legendary beast. The Smilodon was built for power, not speed. Unlike modern big cats, Smilodon's body was muscular, stocky, and designed for ambush. Weighing up to 880 pounds, 400 kilograms, and standing nearly four feet tall at the shoulder, its sheer size gave it an advantage in close quarter combat. Its jaws housed its most fearsome weapons, long curved fangs, measuring up to 11 inches, 28 centimeters in length. These formidable teeth were perfect for delivering a deadly bite to the throat or belly of its prey, ensuring a quick and efficient kill. But the Smilodon's prowess didn't end there. Its powerful forelimbs and retractable claws made it a master of stealth and surprise, capable of taking down prey much larger than itself. This combination of strength, stealth, and deadly precision made the Smilodon the perfect predator of its time. The Ice Age was a brutal time. Glaciers blanketed much of the northern hemisphere and temperatures often plummeted far below freezing. Smilodon's habitat was a mix of tundra, forests, and open plains where it shared the land with some of the most massive creatures to ever walk the earth. These environments were not only harsh, but also teeming with potential prey from the towering mammoths to the enormous ground sloths. In this unforgiving landscape, the Smilodon had to adapt to survive. Its powerful build and keen hunting skills were essential for navigating the frigid temperatures and challenging terrain. The thick fur of the Smilodon provided insulation against the cold, while its robust limbs allowed it to move swiftly through snow and dense underbrush. It was a time of giants, and the Smilodon was one of the fiercest predators among them. The Ice Age posed many challenges, but it also provided opportunities for the Smilodon to thrive, making it an apex predator in its icy domain. Smilodon's hunting method was more like a wrestler than a sprinter. Unlike modern cats, which rely on quick bites and agility, Smilodon's sheer strength made it a formidable ambush predator. Once it targeted its prey, it would leap out of hiding using its powerful limbs to tackle animals like bison, deer, and camels. This powerful predator was well adapted to its environment with physical characteristics that made it an apex predator of its time. This misconception likely stems from the fact that the Smilodon is often depicted alongside other giant Ice Age creatures like the mammoths and giant ground sloths. While it's true that the Smilodon did live during the late Pleistocene epoch, its size was actually more comparable to that of a modern-day lion. Another common misconception is that the Smilodon was a scavenger, feeding on carrion and scraps left behind by other predators. However, Fossil evidence suggests that the Smilodon was an apex predator, with a diet consisting mainly of large herbivores like bison and camels. Smilodon, like modern big cats, may have been a social creature. Fossil evidence suggests that Smilodons lived and possibly hunted in groups, much like lions do today. Cubs were born blind and helpless, relying on their mother for protection and food during the early stages of life. Like most large cats, Smilodon cubs were likely born with small, underdeveloped teeth. Their saber-like canine teeth would have grown gradually as the cubs matured, taking several years to reach their full length. While growing, the cubs would have been learning hunting and survival skills, becoming effective hunters even before their fangs were fully developed. By adolescence, their fangs would be visibly longer, and by adulthood, the fangs were fully developed and ready for the precision hunting Smilodons were known for. Its habitat ranged from the modern-day United States to South America, with the Smilodon thriving in a variety of ecosystems, from grasslands to forests. But despite its adaptability, the Smilodon was not immune to the changing climate, and its extinction is thought to be closely tied to the shift towards a warmer, more humid environment. But what really set the Smilodon apart was its ability to generate an enormous amount of power from its muscles, allowing it to deliver a devastating bite. This is evident in the fossil record, with many Smilodon fossils showing evidence of massive muscle attachments and powerful jaws. 
and despite its fearsome reputation, the Smilodon was likely a highly efficient hunter, with some estimates suggesting that it had a success rate of up to 50%. This is impressive, especially when compared to modern-day predators like lions and leopards, which often have success rates of less than 10%. To summarize, the Smilodon was an extraordinary creature that played a critical role in its ecosystem. Ultimately, they faced extinction due to environmental changes. Times like these remain shrouded in mystery, continuing to captivate history buffs and scientists alike. I hope you enjoyed learning about Smilodon. Please check out our other videos on prehistoric creatures and leave your thoughts in the comments below.